Good evening, hyperspinners. Today, we're going to talk through how I was able to create a full bezel set for the NES, so get ready. Alright guys, I wanted to show you something that I just discovered, and maybe this is old news, but I don't think it is. So, I found this site on uh, the Bezel Project, uh, it's uh, GitHub, and what this has is a number of systems, and it has Bezels, uh, which is unbelievable, uh, by each game. So, what we can do here is we can essentially have a Bezel for each game. And we can do this quickly if you've got a hyperspin uh, setup. The games have to be named a certain way. And I can actually show you how I was able to very quickly, maybe 10 minutes, uh, have a complete uh, NES bezel set. I think there might be like six missing or something, but I mean, unbelievable. There, there used to be zero bezels uh, for this system, at least in my setup. Uh, I was unaware of any other place that has uh, something like this. So it's unreal guys and what I've done is I've completed I don't know five systems in maybe an hour tops. Uh, the hardest part was just figuring out the command line to basically work this magic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to include this on my FTP a Ninja could be seen dojo. It's going to be under rocket launcher and under media bezels and I'll start dropping some of this in here. But uh, first things first, we're going to be only looking at the NES bezels. So here, hope you're sitting down here. <laughs> so here we go. I'm under Rocket Launcher, Media, Bezels, and then Nintendo Entertainment System. You can see I've got every one of these folders set up. And I've done testing. Uh, I was able to basically batch this. So, uh, you know, things just work automatically so check it out so there's there's a bezel there it the screen fits amazingly and uh, we'll kind of talk through that but you can see like it the quality is is good and here look what I'll do is I'll just look at the entire folder structure Let me, at PNG I'll kind of blow this up here so you can uh, see this a little bit better but I'm excited if you can't tell. Uh, I mean, each one of these games have a dedicated bezel, so it's no longer a default uh, system bezel. It, it's great. Uh, I, I think this is, uh, project is still live. Uh, the only uh, system that I was uh, disappointed in, but I mean, how can you be disappointed really, uh, was the 64. Doesn't have any bezels yet. Uh, so these are the missing. Uh, folders so far that don't have any bezels um, you know of all these maybe the TG 16 and the 64 I'd be really looking forward to but the others I'm probably okay with um, in terms of what they have available right now uh, these are the files that I know have uh, essentially a full if not very close full set uh, to the, uh, the system and like I said, I've already completed you know, NES Genesis, 32X, Atari 5200, and SNES, uh, which is amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, talk through how I did it. So you guys can do it on your own, or you can just wait for me to uh, upload these on the FTP. Uh, I will be uh, uploading these uh, as I make videos for them. And uh, you know, next week I, I will be unavailable for about a half week. Uh, for a business trip, so uh, I didn't go anywhere, I promise. Uh, yeah, just work is work. So, yeah, let's get started. So, what I did is I downloaded each one of these files on the GitHub, uh, which is here. I'll put the de description in the, or I'll put the URL in the description below. And what you'll do is just go to repository. And then you'll see a list of all the systems. And what you'll do is you'll just download each one of those. So you can just click on one of those and then click clone or download. You'll save that to the file that you're, uh, or the folder that you're after. 
and what you'll do is you'll open up the folder that is in there and you'll go to overlay and then you'll go oops sorry uh, once you go to overlay you're going to go to game bezels and once you've done that you're going to see configuration files as well as pngs uh, what you'll do is just sort it uh, to get the PNGs and you want to rename the files just to make sure that it matches your database and Yeah, that, that's where the magic happens. So I'm gonna back out of here uh, Get back to the main page and we are going to do this. So it's it's really easy guys I've done all the heavy lifting for you, but if you don't care about doing all this magic uh, What you can do is just wait for the FTP site to get uploaded and uh, Yeah, that's that's what we'll do. So here we go. So I've got an NES folder, it's because I, I just did it basically, but we'll follow the same uh, rules here. So what I'll do next is a super graphics one. And this is the folder that I downloaded. So I'm gonna go to RetroArch. So these are all overlays from a uh, RetroArch setup and I'm just utilizing it for all you guys. So, uh, you know, RetroArch by default will display these bezels, but there's a lot of other uh, emulators outside here that uh, you know you want to utilize this for, so that's why uh, we're doing this. So it has a default system bezel. It's a very you know it's standard. This is what all of them look like. Uh, meh. So we're gonna back out of that. And we're gonna go to game bezels. So here's the for the the system super graphics. Uh, there's only five or six games, so this totally uh, makes sense to me. What I do is I I cut those out and I go to the folder that uh, you know I'm, I'm in and I'm in the NES folder just because that's where I was last time and what I want to do is I want to make sure that these are named correctly so I'm gonna go to fat match uh, if you haven't seen my tutorial on fat match this renames your media and in the, the ROMs path here this is basically the media that has the correct name that you want to match and the images is the uh, path that you are going to rename. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go to my media folder and we're going to look for super graphics and we're going to select uh, let's say a wheel image. So let's uh, get down here. I think it's NEC super graphics. Yep. We're going to go to images we're gonna to go to wheel and we're gonna hit OK and next we are going to go to this folder uh, so we're gonna this folder meaning the NES folder that I'm in here and we're gonna hit OK we're gonna hit start to basically get matches and we're gonna to go to results we're gonna to go to best match sorry I'm going fast because uh, we've already done a tutorial on this everything looks good there so I'm gonna rename and that just tells me that everything is now properly matched to uh, the system that we have. And I don't think I've covered this before, but um, there is a app called Files to Folders. You can find this on the Hyperspin website under the download section. I think I uploaded it. But all it does is it just moves files and folders. So here we go. Let's do it. So I'm going to hit this, move each file to an individual subfolder. Bam! So that, that's the folder structure that you need for Rocket Launcher to recognize your bezels. But we're not out of the woods yet. So uh, for the bezels to work, this file needs to be bezel instead, or something that starts with B. Uh, so like bezel something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename all those. So uh, get ready here. The command line. It, it, <laughs> you couldn't tell. I'm excited. Uh, so what we got to do first here is we need the bezel INI file. So what I've been doing is I just open up one of the files. And if you haven't seen my tutorial already, see we're kind of putting all this uh, stuff together. Uh, we want to make sure that the INI is matching the picture. 99% of the time so far uh, it has been. Uh, and since these are on a system basis, once you've tested one, you know that they're good. So what I'm doing is I'm just getting to the top left corner of this bezel. And I'm looking down here. Sorry, my Windows needs activating apparently. Um, 
the numbers here. This is what we're caring about here. So I'm going to the top left, and what we need to see is roughly a 0 to 295. 0 to, so this needs to be slightly different. You can see how that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if it was 295, what we'd be looking at is, uh, let's see, here we go. Uh, that, that's actually pretty close to what uh, the other was, were doing. I'm just lining it up, I think. I think we're good, because it levels out sort of down here. So that 295 is actually uh, okay, in my opinion. So I'm going to leave that. Uh, well, 234. Yeah, yeah, 234 would be all the way over here. We need, like, 295. Or we'll say, we'll say 295. Yeah, 295. So we're going to change this uh, for the X and then the Y. It's going to be down here. And just lining it up. So we're looking at like, I don't know, 1060. 60. Uh, it doesn't matter there. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait. Sorry, I did that wrong. Sorry, this is a little painful for you guys, but I promise you it's going to pay off, and it's important that you guys see what I'm doing here. So we got 1622 by 1058. Sixteen twenty-two by ten fifty-eight. And then here it was uh, zero and two ninety-five. Alright, so let's uh, let's do this here. I'm gonna close that out. And here we go. So I'm going to go to uh, the command prompt again now. So since we've got the bezel INI file all working and ready, so watch this. So we're going to open up the command prompt. Uh, ignore the monkey business here. You can just go to uh, your search here, Cortana, and type in CMD. And then what you're going to want to do is type in uh, your drive letter. So E colon space CD slash and you'll hit enter and then what you'll do is type in CD and then the path that you are playing in. So there's my bezel folder and from there uh, we are going to basically just do this. So um, here we go. So I'm going to just paste this in. Here, let's see where we're at here. Get back to the top there. We're going to paste it in there. Boom. Your bezel INI is now in each one of these files or folders. Bezel. Bezel. Pretty cool. All right. So now we've got uh, this next command prompt. We need to rename all those PNGs that we just dropped in there as a uh, bezel.png. So let's do this. I'm going to just paste this in here. Hit enter. Boom, everything has been changed. It's, uh, I mean, you know, technology is great, um, but to actually have a use case where it is extremely useful, um, you know, I, I never would have thought we would have had bezels for every game um, individually. Unbelievable. So, yeah, there's a, a bezel. Maybe what I'll do is I'll launch this just to kind of show this off here. NES, Super Turbo. All right, so which one did we just look at? This is the, yeah. here we go. Now that is interesting. Very interesting indeed. Oh wait, what am I doing? I'm so excited I haven't even moved. <laughs> folders to the to the rocket launcher folder guys oh man 
I was like, what what just happened? <laughs> Alright, so let me get to the uh, rocket launcher folder. Bezels. And we're going to go down to the um, NEC Super Graphics. <laughs> Sorry. So here we go. So now, now this is for real, guys. This is what happens when you only do one take. I'm leaving it in there because I don't care. All right, so let's do this again. There you go, guys. Absolutely beautiful. It looks like it's a little cut off down at the bottom. So what we can do is we can fix that. You can kind of see uh, down at the bottom there, right, guys? So uh, outside of that, like, that is amazing. And uh, what I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and fix that just because, uh, you know, I don't want that thing perfect. So I'm going to go back here. We're going to cut this. We're going to drop this in the folder that we were in uh, just a second ago, which is here. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to delete that INI file that, well, here, since there's not the Just gonna open each one of these. I want to see the file path and I want to delete the right ones. Let's see. Move that over. Open that up. So I'm gonna delete all of these others. Alright, so. Did I not do it? Here we go. And this bezel is. Oh, yeah might be like a lag or something here so we're gonna open that up we're gonna look at these yep INIs are empty so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix that INI here hopefully this is the first one that I haven't been a hundred percent perfect on maybe it's because all the the nerves and excitement <laughs> if you will so this is a 295 Right, yep, 295 and zero. And then we are at 620 and 1080. 620 and 1080. Oh, there you go. There you go, guys. There you go. So we're gonna save that. And we're gonna just do this whole uh, experience here again, uh, which is just a copy and paste. So let me uh, close that out, and we are going to go back to the folder here, and let me pull. Yeah, I closed out the uh, the file that had the the name here. So we're going to go to completed. That's where I get the stuff, and we are going to copy this bezel ini again. So here we go. Let's get back to command prompt. Hit and yep pasted that in there and we are in business so let's go back to the folder we we're dabbing in and there's your puzzles here we go this time I'm gonna move them into the right folder structure and we are in the rocket launcher and uh, media bezels and the system name so you can see all of these are over here and here we go. This one is going to be perfect. Uh, sorry, guys. I was crazy excited because I, I just discovered this thing. So here we go. Going to relaunch this and watch an amazement. There it is. Unbelievable. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload the uh, NES uh, complete uh, version that is available. I think there's six games missing, but who cares? There's 800 some vessels that are game specific. It's unreal. So I hope that uh, fits your fancies, guys, and I hope that uh, walks you through how I did it. Um, you know, this part here you can skip. Uh, this is just getting a list of all the files um, in a folder. Thought I needed that, but I ended up not needing it. So. Um, yeah, I'll catch you next time.